Hey everybody, I'm going to look at cleaning an optical assembly in a BenQ today. You can see that spot and that spot. I have it thrown out of focus so that we can see them. It's a little, it kind of moves around. I was trying to get a good, uh, there's some more. Oh, there we go. That's what I was trying to do so that we could actually see the dust particles. So you can see like that one and that one there and there and over here so these are on the inside probably on the dmd so we're going to go down and look at that and what we're going to do first is go inside let's take the lamp out because the lamp i think will prevent the optic block from coming out I'm going to see if we can do it without removing the optic block. I'd uh, like to do it with it still installed so that other folks who want to do this can do it with it still installed. Take the lamp out. So there's probably some dust that got in somewhere. Or maybe when I changed the DMD, it's hard to say. I didn't see it when I first checked it. So my guess is something came loose in shipment because when he uh, got it back, he hooked it up and the picture worked, but it had those spots on it. So I thought I cleaned it well enough, but I guess not because, well, you can see the spots, so it's not clean. Did I get that one? Yeah, I did. All right, so... screw bin. Now the top should come off. And remember, I have that keyboard over here with the uh, tape. So I have to be careful. Oh, and i got to bring the zoom all the way back because you can see it sticks out. So the top doesn't want to come up until There we go. See, it goes back far enough. So now, the keyboard. So we will have to take the main board out because I want to get, I want to get behind this. So first things first. Let's disconnect the color wheel and that speaker. Ooh, those are sharp. And then the large screws. And we'll go around for the smaller ones. There's the main board. There's the ballast connector that gave him a hard time. So I get that out. Temperature switch. Let me get my needle nose for these. And then the uh, these wires. So what I'm doing, I've had people ask me about this. You really want to grab the connectors if you can if you can but sometimes it's not really you know you can't really get in there so what i find is if i use all three wires or all the wires you can pull and that will evenly distribute the uh, force now i'm not cranking down on them if they fight me I try other methods like getting your fingernails on the corners and pushing out. That'll work. But, you know, really all I'm trying to do is spread the uh, force across all the pins. 
so that the connector doesn't come out crooked. So if we take out this screw right there, it should give us access to underneath the main board. So let's pop that out. Let's see, main board is loose. Yes. And will this come up now? right I can't take that out the uh, that is connected so just have to take these out and yeah you can use a five millimeter nut driver I'll use that for putting them back in but once they're loose, just the friction of the screwdriver leaning against it is enough to uh, take it out. There we go. That's what I was trying for. Oh, we got to disconnect. Disconnect that. And then the main power. There's our main board. Does this have a PMD 1000? There's this chip. Yeah, they do. This chip right here is your low voltage power control. All kinds of stuff happens here. If you uh, Google PMD 1000 or look at a BenQ W1070 or 1080 schematic, um, no matter what projector it's in, they all use the same type of voltage output. <clears throat> so, if you have weird power problems um, on BenQ, like if it acts like it's in download mode, that's probably your problem. Uh, they usually mark stuff on the main board, uh, power points, but not always. So, that's why I say check the uh, data sheet on that PMD-1000. So, I'll set that out of the way. We're safe. I guess we will take the uh, optic module out because it's uh, going to be pretty easy to do. Oh, we had a foot fall off. Push that back in. There we are. So I want to take this feller out. So there are three screws and then this bracket. So let's do this bracket first. Yeah, that's good. Then one, two, three. And let's see. Yeah. Now we just come straight up, slide that back, and let me look at this bracket. So that bracket is not affixed until, once you take that screw out in the bottom, that bracket comes up. So I'll have to make sure that goes back in. So I'm just going to actually set it. I'm going to set it in the chassis here in the way of the optic module so I know it has to go back in. Not like I'd forget, but you know. It's a good way to remind yourself. Now there's a couple ways we can clean this. I'm contemplating opening up, taking the uh, DMD off and wiping it. But I think first we'll go through the bottom and see what we find. And before I do that, some gloves on so I don't bring more crud in there or a fingerprint or something like that. Now sometimes you want to take the color wheel off. Um, I'm going to do it in this case to protect it because there's uh, when you're flipping the optic module around you might set it down and then if you set it down the wrong way it'll lean on the bottom edge of the color wheel possibly crack it. 
so just going to take it off and just set it out of the way Put screws in the thing there's the uh, integrator So I think we'll go through the bottom. So what I will do is I'm going to loosen these screws, lift them out. When we take this off, we're going to be extra careful because there's some lenses in here that can fall out. And if they get out of order or face the wrong way, that can be a problem. Let's see, and then that last last screw down here I don't like taking these apart if we don't have to but definitely have to in this case we could try just getting air in there and blowing it free but you know so we're gonna go straight up with this entire plastic thing now sometimes the uh, the tape Back here, yeah, it's holding it. So I'm just gonna work that back off the plastic and there we are. Now we should come straight up. And one lens did come up with it, this lens here. This lens is supposed to come up with it pretty much, but not this one. So this lens goes here round side in all right so for future reference if anybody ever takes one of these apart and you forget round side facing each other so we got the bump on this lens and the bump on that lens pointing in and then this is the shape lens It's pretty cool. Hey, there's me. So I suspect all that dust we're seeing is on that surface right there. My flashlight. Let's see if we can notice any of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> see? You can see them down there in the corner. So we could use a chamois. Um, chamois aren't bad for this. But I think for what it is, I'm going to go with the uh, Kim Wipe. So I'm not going to put any cleaner. Let's do that. I'll shine the flashlight again and now oh, there's still some on the side. And that's clean. I also took the uh, other guys out. There we go. Then I'll wipe the uh, shape lens down. Although dust on these doesn't really matter. It's when it's on the DMD you really have issues. Alright. Now if the shape lens were to fall out, you can set it in. But looks like the glue is holding it like it's supposed to. Alright, that's down. that one in and then what I will do is I'm we'll see if I'm gonna try something I'm gonna try shining a flashlight in through the back or you know through where the light goes in and see if we notice any spots this would be nice not to have to put it all the way back into the projector to make sure that it's clean it should be but should be an R. We can't, not really sure. All right. 
So what I'm hoping is that by, see there's the corner of the DLP chip, the DMD. I want to do that, but it's washing out on the camera, so I'm going to have to kind of do it with my eyes. So I can get it to focus for you guys like it is for me. Kind of. See all that dust in there? That's... Yeah, it's not really showing you what I, I'm seeing. I guess we'll have to put it back in. I'm going to put it back in. We'll see what happens. Let's put the uh, color wheel back on first. And then I will pause the camera, get the uh, get this all mounted back up, and we'll see what happens. I think it's clean. The other problem might be the lamp. I'm not sure how old that lamp is. An old lamp that's losing power will not shine past the uh, dust spots. I ran into that with a BenQ 2150, so... Don't want to repeat that. If it doesn't look better now, I will try a new lamp and see what that does and if there's any positive effect. There we are. Then put these back in. Nope, not that one. That one. There we go. That one. And let's get our bracket. Put our wires through it. Then this one. So I'm going to pause it here and get this all ready for testing. Oh, I'm going to pause it here and get it all ready for testing, and I'll be right back.